After Jesus had returned to heaven, the disciples returned to Jerusalem. Jesus had told them to wait there until they received power from above. People's lives had become the new holy place where God lived by His Spirit. They all met together in a house, waiting in the upper room. They reminded themselves that John the Baptist had said Jesus would baptize with the Holy Spirit and fire. They reminded themselves Jesus had said the Holy Spirit would be given as a good gift from the Father to all who ask. That the Holy Spirit would be like a river of living water flowing out of your heart. The Holy Spirit would be their comforter and guide, helping them in every circumstance and leading them into all truth. That the Holy Spirit would fill them with power and courage to tell the whole world about Jesus. Now the disciples had received the Holy Spirit from Jesus and were full of joy and praise to God. However, the 120 believers that were there that day were about to experience something that would change them forever. They were all together when suddenly they heard a sound from heaven like the roaring of a mighty windstorm. The sound filled the house where everyone was waiting and the atmosphere was charged with excitement. Then what looked like flames or tongues of fire appeared. Every person in the room was totally amazed as the flames of fire settled upon each and every one of them. Then every person was filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages. Nobody knew what they were saying as the Holy Spirit gave them this ability. People heard all this and came to see what was happening. This was the outpouring of power from on high. Peter went outside to explain to the bewildered crowd we are not drunk. What you hear is what the prophet Joel wrote about. In the last days, God would pour out his spirit on everyone. People's hearts and eyes would be open to see and understand spiritual things from heaven. They would speak and prophesy the wonderful plans and purposes of God. This will happen on the men and women alike, on the young and the old the same. No matter who you are, God will fill you with His Spirit. And all this will keep happening till Jesus returns. As Peter spoke, the Holy Spirit opened hearts, and many repented and were baptized in water and received the Holy Spirit. 3,000 people believed Peter's message about Jesus that day and were born again and added to the church. This was the work of the Holy Spirit. Without Him, we could do nothing.